So I attempted to make a game in 1 minute, 10 minutes and 1 hour. And now you are going to watch me suffer while I do that. So I created a new project and did the whole project setup like creating some folders and creating some more folders. Then I started the 1 minute timer and started panic, I mean making the game. I created a new scene and added character body 3D for the player. Then I attached a script to that and boom, a working player controller is here. Then I added the remaining stuff for the player like a collision shape and a bean. Then I added the ground for the player to stand on and uh, after adding player to the scene and camera, the timer ended, a really big one minute actually and this is what I made uh, and this is what I made in that minute. Wow, that was really cool. Minute timer started and the first thing I did was to make the camera movement for the player because it was not there and that was looking really cool uh, really cool I already wasted seven minutes on the camera movement so it was time to make the level a bit prettier and what's better than a white crown a black gray a dark gray crown I used the canis prototype textures for the crown At this point everything was a bit dark so I said let there be light and there was light. In the last seconds I also made the dead zone so that the player can die if they fall out of the map. But that didn't work at the first try. Nothing works at the first try. And after taking some extra 2 minutes I realized that my player was not actually called player. It was called in the script I was checking for. Nobody cares about your stupid mistakes. And this is what I managed to make in 10 minutes. I started the one hour game by fixing up some code. I tried to organize the code into functions for specific parts like the player movement. Then I worked on a way to hide and unhide the mouse cursor and also made the camera move around only when the mouse cursor is hidden. Then it was time to add some action into the game. Oh yeah, I'm talking about guns. And I made this gun using the CSG boxes in Gato. And yeah, I know it's terrible, but who cares? Then I exported the gun into a GLTF model so that I have to deal with a single entity. Then finally, I gave the gun the ability to shoot, cause what's a gun if you can pew pew with it? That totally worked. Yeah, maybe not. After fixing the gun, it worked and I could shoot some... Who do I shoot? At this point, there was no bad guys to kill. So instead of adding those, I beautified the main scene structure and I also got into an infinite loop of dying. So finally, after escaping the matrix, it was time to add some bad guys and I created another bean with black goggles and I made him red because bad guys are red, right? But the bad guy didn't do anything. He just stood in its position. So I did some hocus pocus and boom. Well, I might have done a bit less hocus pocus, so boom. And then he started following me. I guess he got some high level of hocus pocus cause he's floating, which doesn't happen in real life, does it? So after taking some hocus pocus back from him, I gave him a brain. I think I might have given him my brain cause he's still dumb, just like me. Then I made him follow only when the player entered range and gave him some health so that he can die. The only thing that the bad guy is missing was the health bar. But there is not any 3D progress bar thingy in Godot. So I searched online and luckily I found this cool one and it worked great. Just that it starts from the middle but who cares. Then at last I made a cool level with bunch of bad guys roaming around and yeah the timer was up. And this is what I made in one hour.